Are you okay? Leave the janitor alone. She was you, the boss. Manager Gondo will be in the north. You're getting paid five times the salary. Mr. Gondo, the contract with Auchi Corporation is the one I got, isn't it? If that's the case, so what? Why are you saying that you're the one who got it? You don't understand, do you? <sighs> if I get promoted, you'll be treated well too. Excuse me? You'll just have to put up with it until then. Because that's how I've been putting up with a lot. Putting my bosses in a favorable light and getting ahead. That's just a vicious circle. What? Are you going against me? What? I can do whatever I want to you, you know? Uh, it's not a good idea to go against him right now. I'll definitely pay him back someday. Oh, hey, you. Y yes This fan is broken. Take it to the trash. But that's your personal property, isn't it? What? You're such a pain. They wouldn't even know if I didn't tell them. Even the company doesn't give a damn about a few hundred yen to throw out the oversized garbage. Then why don't you just throw it out yourself for a few hundred yen? <sighs> what a pain in the butt. I want to toss out the employee who has nothing better to do than complain too. Hey, what are you doing? I'm sorry, my eyes are bad. I mistook it for a bulky trash fan. <laughs> you, 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 finish this document by tomorrow. What? Seriously? My name is Keiichi Sato. I am sleep deprived every day because of my unreasonable boss. There are already three people I've seen quit because of Gondo. There's no way I'm going to let this go on. I'm going to teach him a lesson for sure. Have you finished the documents? Don't tell me you haven't finished. It's done. Oh? Okay, that's good. We're getting out of here. Don't want to miss our flight. Okay. From now on, I'm going on an overnight business trip with the general manager, Mr. Gondo, to get a contract. If this deal goes well, it will be a huge benefit to our company. So go with gusto. Got it. This deal, I'm definitely going to get it myself. Oh. Damn it, get out of the way. Don't just stand there like that. I'm the one who holds the fate of this company in my hands, you know? Are you okay? Let's get going. But she doesn't look well. Leave her alone! Just a janitor! Oh, no. No way I can leave her alone! You... You're really not going to make it in time! It's detailed in the materials. I'm sure you're fine without me, Mr. Gondo. Please, go ahead! Tch, I don't know what's going to happen to you! Uh, I'm sorry? I'm fine. You're not fine from any angle. I'll take you to the break room. She has a fever. Okay, this will do. What else should I do? I'll wait and see for a bit. If she seems to be in pain, I'll call an ambulance then. She smells so good. Oh man, I'm super sleepy now. Huh? Shoot! I fell asleep. Hmm? Hum? What? What time is it? Gosh, I'm screwed. I'll never make it in time, even if I hurry to the appointment now. Oh man, how tired I've been. But if he follows the instructions in the document, I'm sure he'll get the contract. I guess it'll be fine. I wonder if that person was okay. Okay. 
manager, I'm sorry about yesterday. Huh? You think you can get away with just saying sorry? I couldn't get the contract because of you. What are you going to do about it? What? Even that document doesn't make any sense at all. You have to make it easier for me to explain. With all due respect. Uh-huh. What do you mean you can't explain your own product properly? D don't talk back to me. You'll take the blame for this, so be prepared. Ah, <sighs> this sucks. I guess I'll just have to look for a job. Mr. Gondo, what's the matter? You're scaring everyone with your loud voice. But boss, thank you for your hard work. You look beautiful as ever. Beautiful? <laughs> I know. Wow, she really is beautiful. The president rarely sets foot in the department where we work. I had only seen her from a distance during the new employee orientation. So seeing her up close, I couldn't help but admire her beauty. Huh? What's wrong? Keichi Sato? <laughs> uh, no, no, it's nothing. Boss, I'm really sorry. If only I could have gotten Shunsho Corporation. Looks like you didn't get the contract. I'm sorry. He is to be blamed. He ditched the appointment because he was dealing with a janitor. Mal arranged to put him on the agenda of the meeting right away. A meeting? That may be necessary. You got it. I'm sorry. Keiji Sato? Y yes I need to talk to you. Could you come to the president's office? Yes. I'm done for. I wanted to make Gondo pay. Damn it. Now, Keiji Sato. Yes. You don't usually sleep much. Huh? Uh, no, that's not true. <laughs> I can't tell her that I slept for more than six hours yesterday without doing any work. You look so tired. Sleep is important. Here, I'll give you this, so go ahead and drink it. What's this? It's a drink specially made by a beautiful and talented female CEO. It's the most powerful drink that will blow away your tiredness in a flash. Th thank you so much. I had an image of her as a cool and scary boss, but she's kind of a cute person. Um, what's going to happen to me from now on? You're very accurate in your work and seem to be getting a lot of contracts. Huh? I'm sure Gondo is taking all the credit for that, but why? <laughs> you look surprised. I, I mean, I thought my assessment was that I was a bad employee who couldn't get contracts. It's true, that's how you're evaluated on the surface, but in reality, you're not. How did you... <laughs> you still don't get it, do you? Well then... Do you think you can figure it out now? Well? Oh my goodness! You're so cute! What? This scent. Oh my bad! I just thought your indescribable face was so cute! Um, could it be... That cleaning lady from yesterday was you, the president? You got it! You didn't recognize me at all! Completely no clue? Of course not. Why did you disguise yourself as a janitor? Well, really? Hmm, that's amazing, isn't it? Maybe I'm better suited to be a detective. <laughs> Hold on a second. If the boss is a janitor, then she knows I was sleeping on the job yesterday. I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you freak me out. Sorry about what? Yesterday... Well, skipped work and fell asleep. I tried to call out to you a few times, but you didn't wake up. So I let you sleep, thinking you must be really tired. I also saw that you had given Gonda a lot of materials the day before. Uh, yes. I'm sorry. You finished that amount of work all by yourself, didn't you? That's incredible. Th thank you. Well, what do we do now? Huh? 
We need to call a meeting once, but... Oh, no, no, no. I want to evaluate people fairly. I wouldn't let a super talented person like you go. Anyway, I'll have Mr. Gondo go to the far north. Huh? So, you'll get five times the salary. What? Why would you do that? Because I've come to like you. Like me? In the last six months since Gondo was promoted to department head, three people in your department have quit, right? Yes. One of them spilled that he couldn't keep up with Gondo's ways. I see. Isn't it impossible for several people to quit in such a short span of time? And they all seem so serious. Yes, they all worked fast and were well-liked by our clients. Right? I had heard rumors about that. So I thought something was definitely off. That's why I was undercover as a janitor. Uh, undercover? But I was so shocked. Even though he didn't do much work himself, he took credit for everyone else's work and looked like he was doing a great job. <laughs> if it's this terrible after only a week, it must have been hard on everyone who's been working with him. Miss President. But you know, that's not the only thing that I found out. What? You didn't just blindly listen to Gondo. You told him how you felt. I was completely captivated by your honesty and your manliness when you carried me. What? Captivated? Putting the joke aside. It was a joke? If I had realized it earlier, the others wouldn't have quit. I really regret not being able to protect my valued employees. This is not just Gondo's fault. I think it's my fault, too. Boss. She really cares about her employees. That's why. I'll do my best to prevent occurring like that from now on. So, will you do that, too? Absolutely, but I can't receive five times the salary even though you offered me. I want my work to be evaluated properly and commensurate with my work. <laughs> I like that about you, too. Okay, then. Why don't you join hands with me? Huh? KG, I heard you got the contract with the Yuki Corporation. Yes, I did. Well, as always, the general manager snatched it. The president of Oyuki Ko is apparently my brother's drinking buddy. Is that so? Apparently, he was speaking very highly of you. He said, is there such a good young man nowadays? Well, I'm flattered. <laughs> Not everyone's blind, you know. They're watching the good and the bad. Right. I certainly can't guess the password, though. Why you 916AO? Huh? What? How did you... It's the name and birthday of a girl Gondo's into. You even looked that up. He typed in the password while I was cleaning behind him. He let his guard down, thinking I was a janitor. But it wasn't his wife's name, so I got curious. <laughs> Seriously, you might be cut out for a detective, boss. I think so, too. And that's scary. You thought I was scary, didn't you? <laughs> Busted. Any man who cheats is an enemy of women. Well, you're right. Keiichi, you're the type of guy who cherishes and loves one woman, right? Huh? <gasps> that was close. We almost kissed each other just now. S sorry But isn't it thrilling to sneak around the office at night? Don't talk like an adolescent boy. It must be actually nothing for her. I'm embarrassed that I'm really nervous. Uh, hold up. Is this... This is it, right? Mr. Gondo, I need to talk to you. What is it? If it's a letter of resignation, I'll look at it later. Leave it there. 
You went to Sprinkle a while ago to do some business, didn't you? So what? I couldn't get a deal with Sprinko. I'm busy right now. Go away. I just went to Sprinko. Huh? Why did you... Is there a problem? That's a huge problem! You took the liberty of doing something I didn't tell you to do. That's right. It's a problem, isn't it? Because I was told by Sprinko that they already have a contract with us. What the... I was surprised. You took the merchandise out of the company without permission and conducted business with them privately, didn't you? D do you have proof of that? Needless to say, we even have pictures. If the boss finds out about this... Mm? Oh, hey, wait a minute. Yes? You see, everybody does this kind of stuff. I'll give you some piece of the pie, so shut the fuck up! What do you mean, give you some profit? Please tell me about it, too. Shut up, you janitor! Well, so what if it's this? Huh? What? <laughs> look, look, Keiji! He was so astonished! <laughs> I'm sorry, manager. I don't really have a picture of you. You tricked me! If Keiji just questioned you, you would definitely blame him, right? I could have waited until I could take pictures to prove it, but in the meantime, I don't want you to cheat. Ugh. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to ask you to leave the headquarters. I'll think of a job for you where you can't cheat, not in sales. I can't do that. I have a family. Family? You... Why are you here? Could it be? Miss President, thank you for calling. No problem. Uh, hang on! There's a reason! Reason? Probably because you didn't have enough money to spend on your side chick, right? Huh? You suck! At any rate, this is how it was decided that General Manager Gondo was to leave the head office. Some of the employees who left are coming back as Gondo is not here anymore. Thank you for your cooperation, Keiji. Don't mention it. But still, it was unexpected that you even called his wife into the office. I have to knock the enemies of women into smithereens. I hope I eliminated some of the pus from the company. This incident made me realize how much you care about everyone. I want to follow you for the rest of my life. Is that... In business? Or in your private life? To be honest, I'm really attracted to the kindness and personality of you, boss. I mean, Yui. So, is it possible to do both? That's a perfect answer, Keiji. I know! <laughs> I'm looking forward to our future, Keiji. I'm dating her now. Are you okay? Will you pretend to be my boyfriend? Wait! Even when you were a fake boyfriend, you were serious. My name is Keiji Sato. I went through a complete transformation from a high school student who was obsessed with airsoft to a college student who's very fashionable and stylish. I joined an outdoor club and even got a girlfriend. A fun college life is waiting for me! Or so I thought. Hello, Keiji. I know it's very sudden, but let's pick up, okay? Huh? I'm dating Daigo now, so bye-bye! Huh? What? Wait a minute. Miharu? Hey! Wait, I can't keep up. Huh? Is it really that easy to break up with your girlfriend? Besides, didn't he already have a girlfriend? My love came to an abrupt end. She doesn't even answer the phone, and it's awkward to meet her in the club. Huh? Miharu and Daigo... And Nagisa-san, too! But... 
We were planning to watch the stars together on the upcoming trip. Huh? Stars? No, oh, no. What are you talking about? Do you really think that it'd be fun? Seriously, your taste is lame. Or rather, childish. Right? She's literally like a kid. She doesn't even let me hold her hand on a date. Ugh, is she really a college student? You may be cute, but you don't dress well. And to be honest, you don't really deserve me, you know? Uh. So, I'm dating Miharu now instead. Well then, see ya. Are you okay? Keiji Goon, were you watching? Sorry, I also got dumped by Miharu yesterday, so I was curious. I see. I guess I showed you an embarrassing side of me. It's not like that. Anyone would get upset if they were told something like that so suddenly. Oh, and... And? I think you're cute, Nagisa-san. And I think it's also lovely that you want to see the stars. Keiji-kun... Can you pretend to be my boyfriend? Huh? Huh? They... They made me so frustrated! I want to make them regret for what they said. And what does pretending to be a boyfriend have to do with it? I'll show off our lovey-dovey relationship at the club's trip. I'll dress up nicely too, then they'll be jealous. I see. Wait, no, no, no! I was starting to be convinced, but why me? Because you're fashionable, and it seems like you'll understand my hobbies too. Well, that's true. And I also want to show Miharu what she's missing, and... Right, right, please! I can't leave her like this. She must be hurt right now. All right, I'll do my best too. Let's make ourselves perfect by the trip and become the best couple in the club. Thank you. I'm counting on you, fake boyfriend. Fake boyfriend. That sounds a bit sad, but if I can hang out with such a cute girl, I guess it's fine. I did think if it was okay to do this right after breaking up with my girlfriend. But there's no point in dwelling on it. So, I decided to prioritize having fun with Nagisa-san. On the day of the club trip. Wow, it's beautiful, Keiji. The air feels so refreshing. That's true, Nagisa. The weather is perfect for camping. Oh, those two, they've been getting along really well lately, haven't they? Could they be dating? I saw them together at the store. Me too. And you know, Sato looks quite handsome to be honest. Hmm, hmm, I agree. Lately he's been really interesting and fun to talk to. It seems like we're doing a pretty good job. Thanks to you, Nagisa. You stayed up late talking with me, so I gained confidence. Both Sato and Nagisa, they're getting carried away. It's not funny. When I was dating him, she could only stutter. Sato, you're good at grilling meat. I'm impressed that you took the lead in doing this. Leave it to me. I'll keep grilling, so senpai, please go ahead and eat. Sato's really great, isn't he? I'm jealous, Nagisa. Yeah, yeah, Keiji's doing great. He'd already had knowledge of outdoor activities, so it's really coming in handy. Oh, wow. He even talks to girls who are confused. Nice job, nice job! Na- Hey, aren't they getting a little too close? Huh? No, no, Nagisa, calm down. Remember, he's just pretending to be my boyfriend. I shouldn't worry about anything. Having a boyfriend who's attractive to anyone is the best. This is a good thing. But, Keiji, looks like he's having fun. Nagisa, let's eat together. Huh? Keiji, 
Weren't you grilling meat just now? Senpai took over for me. I... I see. Well, it, it it's fine. You don't have to worry about me. After all, it's just a fake. But I'm your boyfriend, right? And I want to eat with you, Nagisa. Huh? Huh? What are you saying? The meat is delicious. I'm glad. I paid attention to the grilling. Mm, it's delicious, but I feel a bit uneasy. Huh? Well, what's wrong? Is there something else you want to eat? Uh, it's it's nothing. Uh, no, there is. I want to eat that. Uh, uh, will you feed me? Huh? No, no, just kidding. Just give it to me normally. Uh, no, I'll do it. Huh? Th then... Uh... <laughs> my face is burning hot. But it's okay, right? Even though it's a fake, he's still my boyfriend. Just for now. What? what the hell? Nagisa never acted like that in front of me. Sato, what kind of tricks did he use? I didn't expect it to turn out like this at first, but... As we spent time together to become the perfect fake couple... I started enjoying it, and I came to think about him more and more. Even though I was heartbroken, asking him to be my fake boyfriend was kind of weird, huh? I didn't expect him to take it so seriously. I'm starting to get serious, too. But... Keiji seems so relaxed. And only I get nervous every time. This isn't good, right? Ah, so cute! What's with this ah thing? It's too cute. She almost made me forget we're fake. And she's pulling my sleeve multiple times. It's all so cute. And the smile when she says it's delicious. Too cute! Even though we're a fake couple. Ugh! Enough! At first, we were in similar situations, and I just thought it'd be nice if it could distract me. It might sound terrible, but... As we worked hard together, I realized she's truly innocent and diligent. But it's too late to say it now. I'm just a fake boyfriend after all. Keiji! Ah, uh, Nagisa, what's wrong? We're gonna do a test of courage soon. And also, thank you. Huh? Daigo, he kept blushing the whole time, and he looked so frustrated seeing us together. Yeah. So, we've accomplished our goal. Should we end it now? Huh? No, well, let's keep going until the end of this trip. After all, we decided to be a fake couple during the camp, right? Will you really? Let's go. Are you scared? Is it alright? Yeah. Damn it. Even though no one was watching, I'm being too bold. It somehow calms me down. It's warm. I'm glad he didn't tell me to stop. The atmosphere here is quite scary. Y yeah, it is. Are you alright? Your voice has been shaking since earlier. Should we turn back? Huh? No, I'm fine. Let's go until the end. Since we've come this far. Alright. But if you're feeling uneasy, let me know. <laughs> they're unaware they're taking a wrong path. Those fools. So dumb. Hey. I isn't it too much? It's quite dark. 
Don't worry, it's fine. There shouldn't be a dangerous path. Sato, I don't know what you're scheming behind my back, but I'll make you regret stealing my Nagisa. If Nagisa saw him wandering lost, she'll definitely get disappointed. Then she'll realize that I'm a better choice than him. She might be good enough for me now. Breaking up with Miharu and getting back together with Nagisa would be the smart choice for me. Well, well it looks like it's gonna rain soon, so let's go back to the campsite. Oh no, it's raining this heavily. Are you okay? Are you cold? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, don't pretend. You're shivering so much. But, Keiji... I'll be fine. Plus, if we start a fire, it'll be okay. But how can we start a fire? We have nothing. This should ignite a small fire. It's a bit difficult because of the humidity, though. Keiji, you're amazing! Well, I used to do this kind of stuff during Airsoft games. It's not that impressive. No, it's not just about knowledge. It's amazing that you can handle situations calmly like this. Not really. I'm still panicking, but I have to make sure that you're safe till the end. Keiji... Isn't that what a boyfriend is for? Even if it's fake. Yeah, you're right. Seriously? Why did I ask him to become a fake boyfriend? If he were my real boyfriend, I could ask him to hold me gently in his arms and tell him I love him. Nagisa... Keiji... It's cold, isn't it? I know you might not like it, but bear with it for now. No, it's warm. Stop it! Don't be so kind to me! I'm about to take it seriously. Keiichi and Nagisa, they're taking too long. What on earth happened? Maybe they're alone somewhere? Without knowing that there are people worrying about them. What? Daigo, isn't that going too far? I'm not sure. I can't imagine them doing something like that. Yeah, both of them are reliable. By the way, the rain has stopped a bit. Should we go look for them? No, it's not good to search aimlessly. Let's contact the police and get their opinion. Um, I roughly know the location. What, uh, Miharu, are you betraying me? To tell you the truth, Daigo tampered with the direction signs, so they took different routes. That, that can't be true. Don't make up stories. Daigo, did you really do such a thing? The mountains at night are dangerous, you know? No, no way! I didn't do anything like that! Miharu is just guessing and she doesn't have any proof! So that's what happened. Daigo! I'm really disappointed in you! Nagisa! I'm glad you're safe! Huh? What are you talking about? We almost got lost here! That guy wasn't helpful anyway, right? Let's get back together, you and me. Wh what's, what's wrong, wrong with, with this guy? guy? Now's the chance. Choose me over that unreliable guy. That's not happening. Katie was calm even when we got lost, and he took precautions to make sure we wouldn't get lost on the way back. He even took photos. He was really dependable. He's the best boyfriend. Huh? Don't mess with me. Daigo, just stop it already. We forgive you for what you did, but in return, please never come near Nagisa ever again. You got it? Uh. All right, Nagisa, let's rest. You must be tired. Wait! 
Daigo. You're such a... Eek! Daigo was forced to leave in the senior's car. Miharu came and apologized to us. Since we were able to return safely, we didn't press the matter any further. Afterwards, Daigo stopped coming to the club and had to quietly fade away within the college. Keiji, thank you for the fake boyfriend thing too. Nagisa, but you know, let's stop that now, okay? Uh, yeah, you're right. After going through that, I don't want it anymore. Let's do it. Yeah, um, let's stop the fake stuff. Huh? I want you to be my real girlfriend, not fake. Yes! Is it really okay? I mean, even though I said it myself, it's not fake. You know that? Yeah, because... Even when you were a fake boyfriend, you were serious. Sato-kun, how do you put up a tent? Oh, I'll teach you. It'll be easy if both of us do it. Thank you. Sato-kun, this proposal is full of typos. Redo it. I'm sorry, I'll fix it right away. My name is Keiichi Sato. I'm just an average guy working for a company. The person who's angry with me is my boss, Sasaki Yui-san. She's really pretty and beautiful, but when she gets angry, she's scary. But I felt a little uncomfortable being with a person like Sasaki-san. And my hobby is... I arrived! There are quite a lot of people here today, huh? To go camping alone. Ah, now I can forget about my daily stress when I go camping. Camping in the great outdoors makes me forget about my daily stress. There's no Sasaki-san and no work here. I'll just relax today. And there are no scary bosses here. Huh? That woman hasn't moved at all since a while ago. Maybe she's a beginner? Maybe she doesn't know how to put up a tent? Um, excuse me, are you okay? Uh, yes? I'm having trouble spreading up a tent. What? Sato-kun? Sasaki-san, why are you here? To my surprise, my boss, Sasaki-san, was there. Uh, are you c camping here? Well, yeah, something like that. You too, Sato-kun? Well, I come here often. Why is Sasaki-san here? I wanted to forget about work! Um, is this your first time? Y yes it is. But I can't seem to put up a tent! Ah, I see. It's not easy if you've never put up a tent before. May I help? Really? Then please! Keiji-kun, how do you put up a tent? First, put down a blue tarp, and then build the tent on top of it. Teaching something to Sasaki-san feels kind of weird. Keiji-kun, what's this? Those are pegs. We use them to hold the tent in place. Then what do you do with all these sticks? We connect them together and use them as a stick. All right, this should be good then. Thank you. You know a lot about camping, don't you, Sato? Well, I come here often, so I do know a lot. This is your first time, isn't it, Sasaki-san? Yeah, I was interested in it, so I just started it today. But it didn't go well at all. And that's how it is at first, you know. Well, I'll leave you to it then. Thank you. Please don't worry about me, and please just enjoy Sato-kun. Yes, thank you. 
I didn't know Sasaki-san was interested in camping too. Well, the only time we talk is at work, so I had no idea. Maybe next time I can show her some useful camping gear? Well then, I should start prepping for dinner. I bought quite a few ingredients, but I wonder if I can eat them all. I bought too many ingredients because they were all on sale. Speaking of which, I wonder what Sasaki-san's going to eat. Well, it's her first camping trip, so she's not going to cook any camping recipes, huh? But I feel like it's kind of pointless to come all the way here and eat just cup noodles. All right, then. Um, Sasaki-san. Oh? What's wrong, Sato-kun? I bought too much ingredients, so... If you'd like, would you like to eat some? Huh? Is that okay? Yes, of course. Besides, I want you to make good memories for your first camping trip. Thank you. But are you sure? I don't know what I can give you back in return. Then, let's say that this is to apologize for the mistake I made the other day. <laughs> Well, that can't be helped then, I guess. Thank you. This will be a really nice meal for me. Then, let's go to my tent. You'll eat some rice, right? There's a lot of meat, so please eat as much as you want. Sato-kun, you're amazing! You have all kinds of equipment and you can even cook a camping recipe! It's a hobby, so it just came naturally to me, you know? I'm surprised that you even carry the seasonings with you. Uh, those are from the 100 yen store. What? They even sell these things there? Yes, recently many people started to go camping as their hobbies. So you can find all kinds of camping goods even at a 100 yen store. Is that so? I wonder if I should go there the next time then. Mm, it's very delicious. I'm glad to hear that. I never thought I would be able to eat the Japanese mixed rice at a campsite. You can make it with a mess tin, and there's soup too, if you'd like. Keiji-kun, you're really amazing. I didn't know you could do so many things. <laughs> well, I can't do so much at work. But I can do a lot of survival-related things. Oh, this meat is also delicious! Eating the dishes in the great outdoors tastes even more exceptional. Maybe now I understand why everyone wants to go out camping. This feeling of being out of the ordinary makes it fun and exciting. It was delicious. Thank you so much for the tasty meal. It's my pleasure. I'd be happy to make coffee for dessert. You even brought your own coffee mill? I have a small one. What do you think? Isn't camping fun? Yes, it is. I mean, you being so reliable was really unexpected though, Sato-kun. What? Really? Yeah, I didn't expect you to be so reliable like that. <laughs> well, I'm not so reliable at the company. But I think it's great, because I had no knowledge about camping, you know? Just need to camp a few more times and you'll be good to go. Oh, and be careful at night. Huh? What do you mean? Well, there are wild animals out there. But with the recent camping boom, many women are camping alone, and I heard that some campers attack women who are out camping alone. I is that so? We are deep in the mountains, so you can't be really sure that there aren't other campers who want to do that, you know? So please be very careful before you go to bed. Tents are just cloth, and there have been cases of people who have had their tents cut open with knives. Uh, yes, so please shout if anything happens. Uh, okay. It 
It's already 10 p.m. I'll go to bed early and wake up early tomorrow and go for a walk. I'm glad Sasaki-san looked happy. I hope this will be a good opportunity for her to fall in love with camping. Sato-kun, can I talk to you for a minute? Uh, yes, what's wrong? Uh, actually, I was wondering if it's okay with you, Sato-kun, would you let me sleep in this tent with you? What? Isn't that a, a b bad idea? It's because you say those scary things before going to bed. Don't worry, I won't accuse you of harassing me in that way. But, but even if you say that, my tent is spacious, but it is still a tent made for one person. It'll be like this, you know? It's fine. I feel more comfortable than sleeping on my own. Well, that's good, but... Well, it's partly my fault for scaring her like that. But I mean, we're so close that I can smell her scent and feel her body temperature. Mm. Gah! Did Yui-san fall asleep too? I can't believe she's already falling asleep when she was just saying how scared she was. She must have been exhausted. I couldn't sleep after all. <sighs> Good morning. Thanks, Keiji-kun. I slept really well. Th that's good. Would you like to have breakfast together? Yes, let's do that. I'm sorry about everything. No, no. I'm doing this because I enjoy it too. Well, please go wash your face and take a walk around. I'll prepare for breakfast. Thank you. I'll take your word for it, then. I never thought Sato-kun could be that reliable. He was really handsome. I only see him apologize at the office. Ah! Sasaki-san's pretty late. It's been quite some time and she hasn't come back. Maybe she's lost? It is a little rough to walk around here. I didn't expect to fall off from there. What should I do? I can't walk with a broken leg, and I don't think I can climb the cliff. I left my phone too. What should I do? Sasaki-san, where did you go? And this is strange. It's already been an hour. Something must have happened to her. Maybe she got lost? Oh yeah, I'll call her phone. She left her phone, huh? This could be really bad. It's getting darker and darker. The temperature is dropping. And if no one finds me down here, then... I'm so scared. Please. Somebody. Somebody, please come. Sasaki-san! What? S sato -kun? Thank goodness. I'll drop the rope down. So, do you think you can climb back up here? I... I sprained my leg so I can't move. Alright, then I'm coming. Are you okay? You only hurt your leg? Yes. How, how did you know? This mountain is pretty rough to walk on, and there was a crumbling trail, so I thought maybe you fell here. I was so worried and scared. Everything is going to be okay now. Can you hold on to my back? Y yes, I can. I loaded your luggage into the car already. Let's just go to the hospital right now for today. Thank you. Are you living on your own, Sasaki-san? Shall I contact your family? I live on my own, so it's okay. I understand. <laughs> Everything's all right now. You're safe, so please don't cry. I was scared. Thank you so much. I know. You were stuck there for hours. 
I'm sorry for all the trouble it caused you. It's okay. Just think about yourself now. I'll take care of you now, Sasaki-san. Thank you. After that, I took Yui-san to the hospital. Her leg was sprained and she also had a fever as her body had cooled down. We'll examine her today, so she should stay in the hospital for the day. Alright, I understand. And a few months after that camp... Sato-kun, have you finished revising the document? Yes, it's perfect. That was quick. Then next, I'd like you to take care of this one. Yes, ma'am. Sasaki-san spent a day in the hospital and was safely discharged later the next day. And when I went back to the office, she behaved as the usual Sasaki-san. But there was one thing that had changed. Keiichi-kun, which campsite are we going to for the next holiday? Well, how about a campsite with a lake? Sounds good. Okay, I'll bring lots of ingredients this time. And then you'll be in charge of the ingredients. I bought new camping gear, so I'll bring that. Oh? You bought something else? Actually, I bought a new knife. After that camping trip, Sasaki-san confessed her feelings for me, and we decided to go out together. Keiichi-kun! This should be all the things we brought here. Thank you. Then let's put up the tent, shall we? Now we are very close and go camping together. At the time you were really handsome. I never thought you'd be so reliable since you always apologize for your mistakes at work. Well, I'm confident in my survival skills and I never thought you'd be in that kind of trouble. You're really handsome. You think so? But after what happened, I was afraid you'd say that you wouldn't want to go camping anymore. Oh, don't worry about that. I know that you'll protect me, Keiichi. I'm surprised that I'd camp with my scary boss, but I never thought that I would end up going out with her. I can't trust you anymore. What? Don't you ever come to talk to me anymore, ever! N uh, no way. N Nagisa. It feels like a dream that I got to see you again. Go, Nagisa! You can do it! I'm gonna make this one and win! Yes! Nagisa! Keiji! Congratulations! You won the first prize? You were so cool, and I was very impressed. <laughs> I'm so relieved that the game is finally over. It was the very last game before you leave, right? Good job playing for the past three years. Thank you. <sighs> Your guy's looking hot. <laughs> Stop talking like an old guy. I know, right? It seems like someone's enjoying her youth. <laughs> I'm just gonna go change, so wait over here for a while. All right. My girlfriend is too cute. My name is Keiichi Sato. My girlfriend Nagisa and I have been together for four years since the junior high school and everybody knows about us. I wish I could see her smile right next to me for the rest of my life. I know it's kind of embarrassing to say it, though. <laughs> Ugh, it's all over now. It's already been six years since you started playing in junior high school. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. More than anything, I'll miss playing with all my teammates. You got the treasure to cherish for the rest of your life. I'm a bit jealous, because I don't have anything like that. Huh? You got a girlfriend like me to cherish for the rest of your life. Huh? Oh, yeah, well, you're right. What is it? Do you have a problem with that? There's no way! I promise I'll take a good care of you forever. <laughs> Thank you for walking me home, KG. No problem. You did a really good job today. You're gonna go to an after party, right? 
Enjoy! Yeah, thanks! See you tomorrow! Oh, no, no, no! I was about to fall asleep! I gotta hurry! Huh? Okay. Who... who is that? What? W wait What going on? He's not answering! Why would he do that? Hey, Nagisa! I'm sorry about yesterday. I couldn't call you back. Did something happen? I can't trust you anymore. What? Don't you ever come talk to me anymore! Ever! N no way! Since then, Nagisa has been completely ignoring me. She's never responded or anything, and that's how my first love ended without knowing why. A couple of years later. Wow, she scared me. I thought it was Nagisa for a moment, though it's totally impossible. Watch out! Huh? Wow! Ugh. Seriously, I, I've had no luck since Nagisa turned me down. I didn't even have courage to go to our high school reunion to think that I might see her. I mean, look at this. I'm too embarrassed to tell anybody that I got into an accident just because I saw a girl looking like her. I don't want to see anyone right now. All the people in the world just leave me alone. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen. Uh, you're right. You'd better try to be positive so you can go back to your normal life, rather than just feeling down and disappointed. That's what I'm here for. I'm happy that nurses are kind. I hope they're cute, too. Thank you so much. What? N Nagisa. No, wait. Katie, why? That's what I'm saying. Because your last name is different. Oh, I was using the last name on my mom's side of the family, but my parents got back together, so I'm using the one on my dad's side now. I... I didn't know that. Anyways. It feels like a dream that I got to see you again. What? Nothing. Everything is meant to be, I guess. But don't you ever do anything to get in the way of my job, please! I don't think it's even possible, but you're... I'm in charge of you. We have no choice, right? Well, I'm done working for the day, so I'll see you again tomorrow. I... I can't believe it. I didn't expect him to be cagey. I thought I'd never be able to talk with him, but... I'm glad he's here. No way. What a quirk of fate. Is it heaven here or hell? Ugh. To be honest, I've always wanted to see Nagisa again. It might sound regretful, but I could never forget about her and was dragging the feelings for her. But, but still. Nagisa should be feeling troubled to have seen me, though I'm glad to get to see her finally. Sato-san, I'm in charge of you for the night. Please tell me if there's anything. Um, can I ask you something? Well? Is it possible to change a nurse in charge? Huh? Did I do something to offend you? No, no, that's not it. Never mind. Hmm? It's about Nagisa-san. Oh? Was something wrong? I can't really tell you the reason, but... Hmm... Alright, let me ask the head nurse. Thank you so much! I did the right thing, right? Keiichi! Nagisa, morning I heard that you asked if you can have a different nurse in charge. Um, yeah... I just thought you wouldn't like it, so I'm sorry. There's no way I don't like it. I actually, I'm rather... Huh? I, I'll try my best so you'll get better soon, so... So please don't say that you want another person in charge. 
<laughs> what? What is it? Uh, no, nothing. Just, I thought your angry face hasn't changed at all, so... That's not true! I went through all kinds of things and I'm an adult now. Uh, all kinds of things? No! Nah, that's not what I meant, fool! S -s 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 Sorry! Ugh. Well, I'm gonna go back to work, so if you need anything, just tell me, alright? Yeah, thanks. Ever since then, Nagisa started taking really good care of me. We got along so well that it seemed like we were back in the past. It's time to check your temperature. Oh, okay. Excuse me? Huh? Hey, N Nagisa! Aren't you too close? Well, your face is blushing, so you might have a little fever. That's not what I meant! You normally use a thermometer, right? Oh, yeah, right. I just remembered that we used to joke around like this when we were in high school. <laughs> what do you mean, hee <laughs> hee? She was acting weird when I started rehab, too. Whoa! Watch out! S sorry Be careful, alright? If you push yourself too hard and fall, you'll have to stay here longer, you know? Right. Hey, Nagisa? What is it? Why would you take such a good care of me? Why? Because it's my job! Your job? Right! <laughs> Calm down, I was about to misunderstand the situation. Of course, nothing special is happening. It's been a long time since we were together. Nagisa has become even more beautiful and is looking sexy. She must even have a boyfriend. She might be possibly married to someone. Thank you, Nagisa-chan. You don't need to thank me, because if you can't rely on me when you're in need, I shouldn't even be here. You're so helpful to me. I really appreciate it. I totally agree. Now that I've been working with her, I came to meet her all the time. I'm very impressed by Nagisa. Patients and even colleagues like her. She's always tried her best since before. That's why I liked her. I... I still might... about Nagisa. Keiji, what's wrong? Does it hurt? Huh? Um, n n nothing. I'm alright. Are you sure? You seem to be down for some reason. Yeah, I'm sure. It's just all in your head. Uh, alright then. I've always thought that I had a fear of falling in love, but it might have been because I still had feelings for Nagisa. But I can't tell her now, and even if I did, she wouldn't like it. Nagisa has been kind to me just because it's her job. I don't want her to think that I'm still dragging our past. We only have a week left until Keiji leaves the hospital. I won't be able to take care of him after that. I still want to see him after he goes back home, but I don't think he'll ever forgive me for breaking up with him like that. There's no way I can tell him that I couldn't forget about him. Keiji... You're finally leaving tomorrow. Yeah. You should be glad to be able to go home earlier than expected. You did great in rehab. Yeah, you're right. Since today is the last day, let me clean up. Huh? You don't have to, but I can do it by myself since my arms got better. Can you just let me do it since it's gonna be the last time? Uh, all right then. Thank you. This is gonna be the last time. He wouldn't like it if I hugged him, would he? She seems to be taking her time today. It's making me weirdly nervous. What? Uh -huh. What's wrong? Oh no! What happened? Do I stink? No, it's just... Nothing. 
I'm sorry. You said nothing, but Nagisa, you tended to say nothing, especially when you had something in your mind. You haven't changed a bit. That is not true. Yes, it's true. Since you tried to solve all the problems by yourself, you must have had lots of complaints about me, and that must have been the reason why you broke up with me. That is wrong. Huh? The day before I broke up with you, I saw it. You saw what? Keiji, I saw you coming out from a jewelry shop and get in the taxi with a beautiful lady. Oh. You didn't even pick it up when I called you, so at the time, I thought you cheated on me. That's a wrong story. She's my older sister, and I asked her to come shopping with me after I walked you home. But then she got labor pains, so we had to hurry to the hospital and... I know that. What? Last year we had our high school reunion, right? Yeah. On that day I heard about it and I really regretted it. I didn't know that. But I didn't have courage to contact you, so... I was really shocked when I saw you at the hospital. I feel good now that I got to know the reason of you breaking up with me. You had always been treating me good. I'm so sorry. Don't be sorry. I should have tried harder to explain it to you back then. But I wasn't mature enough to do so. I'm sorry. Hey, you might think it's embarrassing, but I could never forget about you. Watching you work, it made me realize that I still like you. I know you have a brand new life now, but I just wanted to tell you this because I don't want to regret anymore. No way. It's actually true what I just said. I know I'm so sissy, right? No, you're not. I... I also couldn't forget about you. Huh? Can we start over again? Will you come back to me? I don't ever want to leave you, ever. Nagisa, I'm going to cherish you more than I did back then. Let's try to have a talk whenever we have any problems. And then, hopefully we can make up for the time we were apart. Keiichi, I love you. It's very touching, isn't it? It is wonderful, the youth. Head nurse It's still working hours, guys. You need to wait till you leave the hospital if you want to flirt with each other. <laughs> I excuse us. I'm sorry. Well, you keep it nice and clean. I just rushed and cleaned it. <laughs> what is this? Well, um, open it. Can I? It's so cute. On that day, the reason why I asked my sister to come with me is to get this. Huh? Nagisa, you used to say that if you won the first prize in the tennis game and left the club, you'd start wearing accessories, right? Yeah. You did win the final, so I got this as a present, but I couldn't hand it to you. You've been holding on to it all this time? Uh, I look sissy here again. No, you're not. I'm so happy. I'm happy too to hear that. Will you put it on for me? Sure. <laughs> it tickles. Uh, sorry, I can't do it right, but... Here you go. How do I look? You look cute. It looks good on you. <laughs> Thank you, Keiji. This smile that I've always liked. I'm gonna try my best not to lose it anymore. Keiji Kun, didn't you say you weren't interested in dating girls? Oh, uh, oh well, uh, this is not. If so, why are you using this service for a rental girlfriend? My name is Keiji Sato. I'm just an ordinary office worker. Sato-kun, have you finished preparing the documents? 
Yes, I have. Uh, please, take a look at it just to make sure everything's okay. I've been working for this company for two years, and I finally started getting used to my job. It was one of those days when that happened. Sato-kun, do you have time tonight? Uh, yes, I'm available. Was there something wrong? Um, how about having a meal together? Just for a change? Huh? A meal, you say? Oh, never mind. You don't have to if you don't want to. Uh, no, if it's okay with you, I'd be happy to join you. I guess you want to talk about work? Don't worry. It's not about work. We're just going to eat together. That's all. Okay, of course. It's not about work? Then is she just trying to be nice as a chief? Hey, Keiji-kun? Uh, yes, what is it? Why did she call me by my first name? Well, you see... Um, well... Do you have a girlfriend? Or anyone you're dating? Uh, no, I'm not seeing anyone right now. Oh, I see. Well then, what about me? Huh? What do you mean? I'm actually quite popular, you know. I... I can tell that, but, uh, sorry. This all happened so fast, and I'm having a hard time processing it. The truth is, I've been interested in you for a while now. You're thoughtful and hardworking, and I like that about you. So, I want you to become my boyfriend. Um, I'm sorry, but I'm not interested in a relationship right now. for saying weird things. <laughs> it, it, it's okay. It's okay. I'm really sorry. I appreciate your feelings, but... D don't worry about it. I'm sorry for making you confused, too. Well, since it might be awkward, let's just eat and go home. I never expected it to happen. I don't want a relationship at work anymore. I used to have a relationship with someone working in the same company in the past, but it ended pretty badly. I feel like I did something wrong, but I don't want to experience that again. Despite having this trauma, I am trying my best to overcome it. I wonder what kind of girl I meet today. Sometimes I use a rental girlfriend service to train myself and overcome my trauma. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm Nagisa. Nice to meet you. Ah, uh, uh, nice to meet you too. S sato kun Ch Chief! W what are you doing here? Well, you see, I work part-time as a rental girlfriend. Huh? Could it be you who rented me? Y yes it was me. Huh? sato kun didn't you say you weren't interested in dating girls? Well, well that's because... Can you explain it? Y yes I was dating someone at my previous company. However, that girl I was seeing cheated on me with my boss, and the two of them caused trouble for me, eventually leading me to be forced to resign. Since then, I've been scared of not only having a relationship at workplace, but also women in general. I was using a rental girlfriend service to train and overcome my trauma. I see. Yes. Anyways, your ex-girlfriend and former boss had terrible personalities, didn't they? Didn't you say anything about it at all? Well, everybody trusted my former boss. So no one didn't listen to what a newcomer like me had to say. That's so unfair! I would never do such a thing! Chief told me that she works as a rental girlfriend as a side job to send money to his father, who became ill. She said she did ask for permission from the company and is planning to quit when her father recovers. Even so, your ex-girlfriend and former boss sound terrible. At that time, I was really in shock. I only love you, Keiji-kun, 
and I will devote myself to you wholeheartedly. If we date, I will do my best to keep all of the men out of my sight. I, I didn't know you felt that way. I feel like I've seen the other side of her. Uh, you don't believe my words, do you? N uh, no, that's not true. I really love you, Katie Kuhn. But I know that words alone aren't enough to convince you. Well, that's not true either. I decided I'll do my best to earn your trust. Not just with words, but with actions. Huh? A few days later. I moved in next door! R really Luckily, the room next to your door was vacant. And the rent is cheaper than my old apartment, so it's a relief. I is that so? I made some food! Let's eat together! Huh? Th thank you. After moving in, Nagisa began taking care of me like a devoted wife. You keep it pretty clean here. I only need to vacuum. Well, I do clean occasionally. You don't have to do all of this. I'm happy to do it if it helps you understand that my feelings are genuine. Uh, but, but isn't it strange to have your boss do the room cleaning? Don't you think that a devoted woman is attractive? It's not about that. Is the bath temperature good? Yes, it's just right. Okay, then I'll get in too. Eh? Why? I need to wash your back. I can do it by myself. Aw, you don't have to be shy. I'm actually really okay. Is that so? Oh, too bad. On the other hand, her behavior at work was as usual. Sato-kun, we have a meeting at three, so make sure you're not late. Ah, uh, okay. However... Hey, sorry to interrupt you about this receipt. Oh, that receipt is... Oh, I see. Thank you. If there's anything else, please ask. Sato-kun, can you come to the conference room for a moment? Y yes Huh? Is she angry about something? Did I do something wrong? Keiji-kun, what were you talking about with that girl earlier? Huh? You were talking to that girl earlier, right? What were you talking about? No, we were just talking about work-related matters. Really? You didn't have any guilty feelings? How many times have you talked to her? What? What is going on with her? She was acting normal in front of everyone, though. This is scary. Is this what happens when you talk to other female employees? I have to be careful when I need to talk to them from now on. Katie kun are you eating a bento lunch from a convenience store again? Yes. I'm not good at cooking, so... Are you eating that kind of food every day? Well, yes. That's not good for your health! And that's what I'll cook for you, starting today! And uh, uh, no, it's fine. It's okay, I just want to. How about curry? You like it, right? Y uh, yes thank you very much. Ah, uh, it's delicious. It is really? I'm glad! Wow, this is really delicious. You're good at cooking. I've been practicing so I can grab your heart through your stomach, Keiji-kun! Nagisa-san continued to cook dishes, considering my preferences and healthy balance. Dinner will be ready soon! Oh, yes, thank you. Even though she has to deal with her father's condition as well, she's been doing so much for me. I realized that her feelings for me were genuine, and I started to feel like I'm ready to fall in love again. Well, I do sense a bit of darkness from her, but... Well, we have a meeting in the afternoon, so I should get ready. Huh? That's the chief and the department manager? What are they talking about? Isn't it about time for Sato-kun? Yes, I think it's okay to tell him now. Then it's perfect. 
He can make it somewhere else, too. Huh? Somewhere else? What does that mean? They were definitely talking about sending me somewhere else. But does that mean that I'm being set up again? Sato-kun? yes What's wrong? You don't seem well. No, it's nothing. Are you sure? Well then, did you finish up the sales documents for tomorrow? Yes, it's ready. That's good, thank you. Oh, um, Chief! What is it? Is something wrong? N no it's nothing. I couldn't ask her, but if I'm right... Let's not think about it. It's only making me anxious. Keiichi-kun, what do you want to eat today? Uh... Keiichi-kun? Huh? Uh, sorry. I was lost in thought. You've been acting strange lately. Is something bothering you? N no it's nothing. Uh, I'm fine with anything you cook. I'll go take a nap for a bit. Okay, then. Nagisa-san seems normal, but am I really going to be transferred? And if so, why? I guess I have no choice but to ask her. What's wrong? Did you want to talk to me? There's something I really need to ask you. What were you and the department manager talking about the other day? Huh? What do you mean? I overheard your conversation about transferring me. Where am I going to be sent to? Uh, you heard that conversation? I'm so sick of being betrayed. It's terrible when you start to trust someone and then they do this to you. So if you found a better guy than me, will you just go to him instead? Huh? What are you talking about? Huh? Weren't you trying to betray me and send me somewhere else? I would never do something like that! Then why am I being transferred? That conversation was about recommending you to the head office and having you transferred there! Huh? W why would you do that? Because you're excellent! Everyone in the department recognizes your sincere feelings and attitudes towards your work! And I myself have seen you work hard more than anyone else! That's why we wanted to recommend you! W what That's what was all about? I thought it was something else. Did you think you were being betrayed again? <laughs> Sorry. I was thinking too much and misunderstood things. It must have been tough for you. Yes, but it's okay. This time, it was just a misunderstanding. Trust me. I won't betray you. Thank you for saying that. I'm sorry. I wanted to keep it a secret and celebrate your promotion with everyone. I'm sorry for hurting you. No, it's not your fault at all. It's my fault for not trusting you, Chief. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. It's very understandable when you have such a past. But I'm relieved that you didn't betray me. I'll never betray you. Right. Um, Nagisa-san? Hmm? What is it? Will you always be by my side? Huh? And so, I confess my feelings to the chief and we officially started dating. I'll go this way then. Okay, let's both do our best. After that, Nagisa and I became a couple. Our rooms are next to each other, so it's almost like we were already living together. So, not much has changed. Nagisa's father recovered, and she quit her part-time job as a rental girlfriend. We're planning to visit her parents soon together. I've now moved to the head office and am working there. The next meeting is to decide which companies will participate in the project. My work was highly recognized, and I was eventually entrusted with leading a new project. It was one of those days that that happened. Ah! 
Keiichi? What? Why are you here? At the meeting to decide which companies would participate in the new project, my ex-girlfriend and her cheating partner, my former boss, were there as representatives of their company. W wow, it's Sato. I can't believe you were working for this company. Yes, really. That means our company's participation in the project is almost decided, doesn't it? What are you talking about? A company that has employees who cheat and trap others to force them to resign cannot participate in the project. Please leave. W wait If we can't participate in this project, our company is in trouble. Please, Keiichi, you're the leader, right? You've got the wrong person to try to convince. I don't want to include unreliable people in the project. No, no way. It felt nice to have dealt with that. I'm glad you were able to get revenge. Oh yeah, I'm really glad to get that off my chest. I can focus on the project now. Oh, by the way, Keiji-kun. What is it? You're not allowed to meet or talk to your ex-girlfriend again. Block her contact information, too. Ah, uh, yes Do it right in front of me, right now, quickly! Y yes Nagisa-san might be a little yandere-like after all. Thanks for watching till the end! Please subscribe to our channel, too!